Hey folks, welcome back to Manor Lords. I was just noticing as it was zooming in, there's some a couple words over there. Look like efficiency up. Not sure what that refers to because we're not even using this, but I wonder if there was an efficiency on the windmill based on where you placed it. Hmm. I wonder if it spins faster in a in a thunderstorm. <laughs> anyway, this episode we want to start using this guy as we clear out these crops 336 yield interesting we're still at not quite 50 percent remember when it was at 25 percent and that said three so it's it's definitely not proportional that's for sure um need to get the church upgraded though here in a few days a week we hit october i think at that point i want to go ahead and harvest this so i'm going to need these families and a few others. I don't know who I'm going to pull out of their jobs, but uh, once we set these artisans in, we lost three families right there. They'll no longer work with any other mundane task in the town. They've, they have stepped up in a, uh, a class of people there. But we will need to get this in, get it replowed, and and seed in the ground before we hit snow so that that'll be the challenge but upgraded church after that uh tavern needs to go in so we could be working on that i'm pretty sure within all oh, the next few minutes we're going to get a message that a bandit camp has dropped because it's been a while since we've seen that so we'll go and play with them and we'll bring some more coinage in and maybe even get into dropping the new town in but as well i want to play with sheep so <laughs> there's a lot to cram in in the next hour so let's start where let's start with the tavern until i get interrupted that is residential and tavern drop in like so the game always starts with snap to roads so we'll undo that there's the leftovers of the old tannery kind of where i want to put this um, and these rows do not have to stay. They were here for other purposes. We may manner into this. The roads do this. What if... See, how do we... We're going to lose all of this, aren't we? If I delete part. You go all the way into there. Okay, well let's start tearing it apart now. So roads and delete you and let's put this was coming off of here like so that's a little steep of a turn there let's see pull you back maybe like that and taking it in along the front of this and then what is he attached to the manor road does he not? Does he just come in to here? Not come out this way. Hmm, what do we got here? We have leather. Leather is going to make its way into the cobbler. So it would make sense to keep it going. Let's just stop right here. And we'll go from here to wherever. Let's get the, the, uh, the other one in. But let's grab this row, get rid of him. So that gives us a... Uh, uh, a blank canvas now so back to the tavern since I can't put it exactly where I wanted to off to the side let's pull in this way we're just entering town and there's a trusty tavern right over here somewhere he's not gonna be till here and you're not even gonna see him hmm is he actually right on the road three trees are gonna be yanked whoa we got noises Okay, so, whoa, we got lots of noises. Do we tuck him into here? Let's pause. Um, could do that. I, would, I really wanted him here. So maybe I would still do that, just be closer to the road than I was hoping. I want him tucked back in a little bit, but yeah, this way it'll be uh, visible. A little bit of an angle. Let's see here. No, I think he, he's on road front uh, footage there, frontage. Yeah, we'll go with that right there. So you 
there's no real rush yet. We still don't have barley, but we can get you placed. What was all the excitement? A bandit camp was sighted, and so was a ruler's army. So you guys are where right now? You're up in here. You're popping out of here. I'm over there. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I could run you. I don't like that. You are here. All I really have to do is get you to snag onto my guys first. And then they will walk toward me as those other troops are walking toward them and we will keep outpacing them. How do we pull that off? If we were to... Yeah, but that's, that means i got to run even further, right? You are over here. We're here. We need to trigger you, then pull back to somewhere where we can battle. Where we've had a little bit of a break, and they have to go uphill to get to us. I don't know where that place is. We're all level ground here, and then we drop down. So I don't know where to drop without fighting in the trees. Or without fighting near the other guy's army. Yeah, this one's going to be tough. I can't run to there faster than they can walk to there, I don't think. But this would be the place to do it, right? They are... Oh, they're over here. That's, that's way too close. And they're downhill right into us. There's no advantage to this one. There really isn't. I could give us a try. Let's send you guys to here. And how close is that? We would still need to trigger them first. We can trigger them in the woods and then pull back. Let's trigger them. We just have to... I have to remember to go check on my little dudes or I'm not going to have any little dudes left. Okay, and let's send you guys out at a run and trigger them. Then we'll start pulling back and pulling back. They should continue to follow us. I don't know if there's a limit. I wonder how far they will continue to follow us as we rest a little as we go. Huh... All right, let's just kind of keep an eye on that. We're either going to have another victory or we're going to be coming home licking our wounds. I'm not sure. The odds are against us there. So, sheep. Where do we want to put sheep? Where are sheep? Here? There's a farmhouse. You are a sheep farm. Okay. So, we've got the ability to breed sheep. Farming is kind of here in, our, in this province. I don't know what's over here. It's kind of a nice little area. I, mean, I could see sheep having a ball out here. But same way with over here. You know, I can see sheep frolicking in this uh, this little meadow. Look at the shadow of the, of the flock flying over. Over here. So housing really is the issue. What was that noise? It always happens when I'm... I think something just got built. Um, spin you around... This road we're going to maintain, I would say, out over here. And... I'm thinking I want to kind of surround this with the the uh, the sheep pasture. How best to rotate. I'm going to rotate it this way and come in like... Actually, let's have the road end at it. Okay, let's do that. You're going to be something like that. Right there. Get you built... We'll put the livestock trader in somewhere nearby. Maybe a road snaking through the trees over here for transporting them. And noise was uh, Woodcutter's Lodge. Oh, we're over in here. Yeah, that is... He's up in there. So you, let's quickly set your, um, your focus to this trail going through. Let's tighten it up and give you that area right there all right so let's go see how far we've progressed we're we're moving in we're we still have a ways to go so do they but we're at a run and they're not that's where we may have to just uh bow out of this at the last minute just to keep our guys alive so they're running through the trees that can't be good we are oh it's downhill i would think it'd be mostly uphill all the way in but don't know what's actually happening in the trees here i think we're going down back up and potentially back down again. We're going to trigger them somewhere over here. That's about the right distance. You are work area. You are still dead. So shutting down the game, restarting did not help. That berry deposit 
it's just it's gone and I don't understand why because I'm certain we did not pick it out so you guys are dangerously close and so are we I think I'm just gonna hover over here we have to get their attention then we have to get back I wish I knew where back was I think we head toward the main road and just follow it downhill which is downhill for us too that helps us out we have a level playing field in here maybe this is our battle scene okay how quickly are we going to trigger and are they going to trigger them first these guys have no idea what's coming their way <laughs> yeah so we are no longer in our main province we triggered and they found us okay pause they're coming toward us we need every bit of advantage we can possibly get. They did trigger us, right? We're up the same distance. They are coming after us. Okay. And they're at a run at the moment. So you guys are going to stop running. You're going to head to here. Um, let's draw this or try to. Control. Let's go here, come down the road, and then pull into here. And see what that does. So, they're back to a walk. These guys are going to be constantly walking toward them, too. Even though they've triggered, they're still on their uh, their path. Okay, I think we've got a little bit of time here now. So, we're over here. We just dropped you in. We didn't actually put a family in there, so I didn't get to finish my, my thought. There's a family in there for now. Making firewood to because these guys are going to be leaving yeah you guys refocus your center of your focus on yeah a couple trees left over here zoom you in and you always start with this huge circle so we have a tree there and right there someone's out there complaining let's set it to right there and see if they clean these up so hopefully by the end of this episode they'll be done we'll delete you we could even set the next field over here we are in a we're september we're still september um 336 still or 52 percent okay so we're gaining um that it over there for now we have building projects we have only one family doing them so they're not going to run out of things to do you guys are coming at us we're getting through the trees there we have a fatigue of 60 effectiveness of random numbers 40 or 23 uh, cohesion is dropping we are surrounded by trees but we're going to be pulling out of that getting back onto the road and dropping downhill will these guys change their mind angle of attack they're pretty much going to arc their way in right after us so we are steering the whole thing okay raining great they get angry in the rain too guys don't fight all right just just figure it out thank you <laughs> rain companies available okay uh fatigue and cohesion we're not uh let's click them again see if it freshens it now well we're 59 fatigue instead of 60 so slowly that is dwindling if i could walk them far enough we would uh, we would be in better shape we're walking at the same speed so theoretically i could take them across the entire map but i don't know if at some point they will just turn around and leave and there's not much distance so what are you guys doing you're still walking i wonder if they could just walk up and take the camp i mean they could there's no one defending it now i wonder if they will I would. Bet I would. New family started moving in. Great. We're October. All right. So you guys are going to slowly work your way over to here. Is there any place here that gives us an advantage? The further we can go, but it's all downhill for them too. I want the high ground, but I don't see a high ground that... Well, I can kind of see a high ground right here. In case I don't get back to them... We're going to set you for stand your ground, and we're going to set you here. And I was advised that we are stronger in a line, in a single line of 12 wide, rather than a double line with, you know, of six with someone backing them from behind. So I was hoping that the back row could plunge a spear or what have you right through the line in front of them and continue to fight. So that was my thought. The narrower of a of a um, exposure 
the more they tend to stack behind the front of that and don't even get into the battle. So I see the advantages both ways. Um, but yeah, this seems to be our crown right here. Just like so. All right, so that's the plan. We're going to come down this hill, which is going to give us a boost, but it's going to give them a boost too. But they don't have much disadvantage already. 60%, they're still doing fine, yeah. So giving them that boost isn't going to help them that much. It's only going to help us. All right, so while that is happening, and that gap is closing, so I don't know. I think they walk a little faster than us. It kind of looks that way. Um, what was I going to do over here? I was going to race over and get this guy going. And yeah, you really aren't supposed to be... Uh, harvesting in the rain but I guess that's how it's going to be we need some families let's shut down I'll tell you what we can shut down a lot of things we are whoa whoa wow we are out of planks wow we went through a lot of planks okay um let's take you guys down there and you guys let's pull one family out planks we're going to leave and did this ever happen it is in to the doors yeah the doors went in the right direction too um we could shut this down for the moment now we're running booths though yeah we're running booths okay let's take another one out of here who are not running booths and i'm gonna pause i feel like i've been far enough away for, long enough away from that battle to start to get uncomfortable you guys are running booths you guys are too. Who is not? Stone, we're not. Uh, do we have clay? We do, not, we do not have clay, but we no longer need roofing tiles, so we can take you guys out. Okay, no booth there. So that gives me six. Let's go with that. Let's employ you guys, six families. Go through and quickly pull it out. Plow it. Sow it. Run back in. Thresh it. And then we'll get back to, uh, get back to life. You guys are over here, not going to have a long rest period, you're really not. But you should be moving downhill at a plus 8, so that's helping your effectiveness. And we'll see how that stacks. Um, cohesion, the negatives went away. So I wish I still don't know exactly what is intended by cohesion in the game. Why are we gaining cohesion right now? Why were we losing it before? So I don't know, but it's part of our effectiveness. So it is a factor that allows us to fight better. Uh, the downhill just went away. No, so we went to angry red arrows aiming down. Uh, unassigned family needs construction work. Oh, needed for construction work, yep. Um, 49%, 47% because we're climbing. But that is very temporary gonna get to there okay what else is happening you guys did not go for the camp you've cut through the force your effectiveness is not that great either these guys effectiveness is still great they've been pretty much going downhill the entire time and they're at a walk they never had any disadvantage stacked against them to begin with you guys are gonna stop right now you guys are click there stand your ground we don't need to worry about arrows coming in. If we were fighting them, we would. Hold, stop movement, and reform the formation. There's nothing else here to choose from. All we can do is just sit here and get our uh, get our effectiveness back up. 54% in fatigue and 53. Not recovering very quickly. Was this a mistake or can we do it? I'm convinced we will win. I just don't know how many of our little dudes we're going to lose and lose our 250 again. So, where is our fancy dude? The one that I accidentally upgraded. There he is. Okay, I need you to take the lead, all right? You would scare the bejeebies out of them and drop their morale immediately. So, you're coming in, this group of rabble rousers. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Start throwing some shade out there. Zoom in it. I don't think I really need to... Well, I want to drop into my little dude here and, and see this firsthand, but... 
I know I'm going to pop in a long way away from here. There we go. Oh, the carnage. So, not going to see any numbers right now. He's backed away. He says, oh, I don't think so. Otherwise, all of ours are fighting. And all of theirs are. I don't see anybody else standing around. There's our banner. Let's see if that's the first one to go down this time. If that's just how it works. He's, he's the cheerleader back there. Rah, rah. And... Not knowing the numbers, we'll just... I can see two of them down, three of them down on their side. And... I think we're good. Oh, the final blow over there to the left. Pull back in. We're 12. We've made it. Alright, now, do we have to race for this? And... Run in. You guys are doing what? You're heading for it. You are heading for it. Are they heading for the tents or are they heading off the map? That's the question. We're going to need to overcome them if we want that money. No, yeah, the money. We've got the ability to make the next claim and I'm going to just do it. So we're going to pull out of this mode and pull up a little further. This is the one. It's not the best one. Um, we've got... We got a King's Berries over here with a crown on top and stone. We do have a good source of wild animals out of there, though. Then we do here, too. Hmm. But I was hoping for another round of... Oh, we do have iron over here. Went right past that. Didn't see it. Okay. Let's jump in. You were going to claim with influence. Yes. All right, so we're going to grab these three. I don't see us going for the last two. But the bandit caps from now on are most likely going to drop into just these two. Which is a reason to keep our guys camped into here. And it's a long walk back home to go grab a new guy. So, how are we going to make this? I don't know that they're heading for there. Let's get a beat on their actual... Okay, there's their... Yeah, I think they are. Alright, so it's right there. Now, let's go right there. Now I think we're tracking them. Pull back in pull across. They're heading for here at least. So I don't think if we went double the speed, I don't think we could catch up to that. They're slightly more than halfway. We'll wait and see. We're going to run them out, but our guys are going to run out of steam before they get there too. Back in Miss 15. Yeah. So they're going to be at a, at a walk by the time they get to about here. So they're either going off the map or they're going to grab our spoils. But we did grab the influence. And what we needed right now, that's the same ones? Yeah, they, ah, they came out of the woods. I think that's kind of what's going on here. Somebody theoretically sighted them. And they are a terror. Let's stare at this for just a little bit. It still looks like they're sighting in right here. But I have seen them also walk up the side of the map and then turn to go to a camp over here rather than a, a diagonal the entire time. So it's very possible they are traveling a straight line then they're going to turn. So we'll just wait to see if we get the message. Otherwise we got to get them back and get them rested. So we were playing with harvesting. And oh I didn't tell them to do the job. Force early harvest. We had six families sitting in here taking quite a break. Oh, darn it. Okay. Well, they all went home. They got rested. Some of them worked in their gardens. And they went to church and the market. And they had a jolly old time. Kind of a, uh, oh, celebrated the harvest with, by taking some time off. That's what they did. Now I get to work. You guys are doing what... It's still the same trajectory. They're heading here, then they're going to make a decision. We are exhausted. We are. We aren't even trying anymore. Though we will regain some of our fatigue. I don't know what the number is. We'll say 70. And then this will light up again and let us run some more. So it is possible to get a couple of uh, bursts out of them. But you have changed your course. You are. I've been assigned to take out the camp. So I'm reasonably sure that this is 
not going to happen. So let's just send you to where? Where's our new point of advantage? Now, if it goes here, we now know we can't get there in time. If it goes here, it'll be the same thing. So we're only going to get it if they're in the middle of the province or less. Okay, let's set our guys out over here and just something like that. Not at a run. Stand your ground and do your thing. It's beyond obvious these guys are heading into here now, so there's no, no point. All right, so we're claiming that province. We've got these two. We do not have the gold to go set up the new settlement yet, but we also didn't lose a, uh, uh, a retinue soldier. So, a retainer, I think I've seen it worded. So, there's a, probably a whole history in regard to, uh, to that terminology and, and how that was used back then. And I'm sure somebody's going to write me a thesis about it now in the comments. <laughs> All right, so these guys are cutting down. They are gathering sheaths. They are piling them up. Stacked this way so the rain will drain off of them until they're brought in. This many people will bring in really fast. So we'll probably, now we're probably what, a week or two into October. I can see taking two families off and getting them to work doing other things once this part's done. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Uh, are you all ready? No? We're just, we're setting them down is what we're doing. Okay. Theoretically, we're, we're building piles here. Aha. Uh -huh. And soon we're going to grab our hoes and start uh, hacking away at the soil. There's the last of that. But I want them to drop off all their goods first before I say, no, go back to work, and then something gets missed in the transaction. She is done. Everybody's leaving. So the task is done. They're probably going back to get a new assignment. That's, at least that's the way it seemed to work in Ostrov. So let's pull two of you out. And um, it would be great if, you know, if we could strategically do this. Next time we'll have maybe a row of houses here. And I'll just manually assign each one to there. So we can leave these other families to be doing what they're doing. Families over here are going to be assigned to these jobs. And so on. But for now, what do we want to get done there? We could tell them to prioritize threshing. So they'll actually get started on that. At which, In which case, we can go ahead and get this up and running, just so I don't forget later. So hopefully, though, a lot of them have returned and got their assignments, meaning grabbed a, a shovel or a hoe and went off to do their thing. So we do have, was that a 6 to 7 or an 8 to 7? So I don't know if there's an eight. Don't know if threshing is happening at the moment. Um, people transporting. There's my answer. So they're not going to do anything until they've all gone back, grabbed all these, brought them in. All right. So next is sheep. Next is tavern. Whoa, look at that. So quite the structure. Look at the joinery. Dropped in. Oh, that looks good. Down in here. Yeah. Now, got our little notches in there. Yeah, that's cool. I could spend a lot of time just looking at the game. I'm surprised there isn't a, a ridge piece in there or a spine to, to hold these guys apart. I guess this point here and this point here are enough to make the, the top rigid. Okay, we are running. Oh, we're not running. Okay, that's why it's taking them forever to get back to this. So, down in here. We've cleared out a lot of stuff. We have. Is there anything that really has to be done out there besides the next row of Burgage plots? I had thought about maybe a granary over here. I kicked it around as just something to put into here that's the right size. The communal oven will fit in there. Will the communal oven fit here in the boulevard? Let's grab, let's see, you're here under that one right there. You will, oh good. 
flower will come out of here. Is there any reason? Let's do that and drop a road through here. Like so. Okay. So that's that. We've got more market stalls potentially going into here. Um, we do have this road. That could go over. It gives us movement. We don't have to have a straight pathway through. It gives us more variety and randomness in here, and I like that. So in that case, we could do something like this as well. Yeah, we'll do that. A little crooked. That's fine. They were crooked back then. <laughs> so you guys are in. We are starting to plant, but the high priority, did it work? Not necessarily. So, plowing, 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 plowing. That still doesn't override field work to get the grain threshed. That's interesting. So, kind of, what is the point of this? I would have thought that one of the four families would be in here working on a rather meager crop. Yeah, it's not a very tall stack in there. Yeah, there will be next year, but yeah, right now there isn't. Okay, so we have no families. No families. We pulled, we put one in here. I don't remember adding another one somewhere. What happened there? We took two out. We put one back in. And refresh my memory. No, I can't think of another one that we moved. We took two out of the farm. Where's the other family? Interesting. So I need to pull somebody out because we... Whoa, we're just barely holding 50%. We're not going to see any... Uh, hmm. Okay, we need to get that built. So I guess we're pulling one more out of here, unfortunately. They still have a month and a half to get that work done and get the seeds in the ground. That's just going to have to be enough. How are we up here? We did lose the camp. We did lose the camp. And you guys are just about getting into place. You are exhausted. And you just need to sit back and and get ready for the next uh, the next battle, wherever that turns out to be. But thankfully we've still got everybody and this guy in the in the, the full armor that has got to be hot and exhausting. Yeah, wouldn't want to be you. Okay, sheep farm into here. And a sheep pasture. So, we will put up the livestock trader. Where am I? Here. What are you? That's a farm. Okay. Livestock trader. It could be anywhere. I kind of like it. I think it would be good right in here. We do have a road that comes in and attaches there. So, it would make sense to do something along these lines. Right there. Coming around. We'll see if we can leave a lot of these trees. Region claimed. Nice. Roll into here. Now let's give another point. We'll come in like that. And I can see a reason why folks would probably swing in like so. Actually, it'd be right out of there, wouldn't it? It would. Okay. You're going like that. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So, coming into there to the sheep farm, and what was I saying? I, was, I kind of blew my train of thought here by grabbing this one. Grabbing this one, it was suggested that if this is Gandalf, and this one is going to be a farming-based community, agricultural-based, that it would make sense to name this province Samwise, and I like that. So you are now going to be. And I spelled it right. Google. Okay, pulling out of you. X, there we go. And you are now Samwise. You are Gandalf. And we're still looking for an excuse for this one. Now this one is also agricultural. Remind me here. C, Emmer. No. So this one is mining. This one is animals. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. The majority of the mining was planning was planned for here. So whether this is a Gimli or a Legolas, I'm not sure. Is there are there any other ideas besides those two concepts 
any other people or places or events that seems fitting for um well a, a middle ground a middle earth a yeah i'm drawing a blank right now so i'll let you guys uh, ponder that after the episode or over the next couple because we're barely going to get into here let alone get into there for quite some time so no rush on that one we are running you guys are doing your thing we only have well we have two families now okay i'm 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 confused did we just we did not just get into the family okay i'll have to go back and watch to see when this went down to zero to one to two we pulled one out to get one family going because it said zero now it says two what should have been there to begin with so i'm a little confused did you guys ever restore your seasonal you did not so hopefully next spring those come back otherwise we're going to be relying on and that's fine to rely on it these guys for berries we they, they're going to need a barter uh, product soon to send over to us so we can send back things whatever that whatever it is that they need you know they're going to be in fact we you know there'd be an advantage to getting this going right now because we could be sending berries over right at the moment but we don't have the 250 we need but yeah we could be sending foods over this way how are we doing in this regard we are at 17 to 40 and winter is approaching so food wise Four months of fuel and five months of food. That is not good. You guys are one family, and you are bringing in about all this can handle. Um, we've got one hide and 41 leather. And the leather that was on the ground over here, is it still? It, no. So that has been picked up. Cobbler probably went and grabbed it. These guys here are, are sucking all of our planks out of the system. So let's look at this. We now have 11 more shields than we need to get a full company of 36 spearmen. So we've got something to trade away, but we're no longer in dire need of that. So let's pause you, the Fletcher, the joiner's shop, or we switch you, people general. All right, we switch you to these guys for something to sell versus it takes half as many planks. That's a possibility. How are we doing on, on Warbos? We have 33. So three more and we will have hit a full archer squad of 36. Okay. Um, planks in the system, four. Let's see if cutting the planks that are being used in half over there helps us out. Firewood needs to be done. It probably needs to be done at this point more so than building houses this is in this is pretty cool that is let's take a quick walk through there if any of you have ever played kingdom come deliverance yeah that's what this reminds me of every time I, I see this one the the tables out there what was the name of the game the dice game my grandparents taught it to me they called it 10,000 but there's a different name for the game here, and that's a very old game. Five dice, you're rolling, it's kind of like Yahtzee in a sense. You're rolling uh, pairs and, you know, three and four of a kind. Your uh, Ones are worth 100, fives are worth 50, and first one to get to a certain number wins. There is, this almost looks like a stall, and there were stalls in the, uh, in the Kingdom Come Deliverance version of this too. Real interesting. Not going to use it for a while, not going to employ it. We still need to, and we can afford to, to set these guys up as brewers right in here. But they're going to need malt. So before we do that, we're going to need to drop the uh, malt house? What would you call that? Is that industry? Malt. That's that symbol there, a malt house. Yeah. So malt house is going to take the the uh barley that's what i'm trying to think of so the barley that come out of here it'll go into the malt house and your barley will not be stored in the granary so don't go looking there for it it'll be stored in the storehouse so granary uh, barley and flax are not food crops or at least not treated that way in this game so i just had some flax granola the other day so it is it can be used as a food of course but uh in this game it is used as a you know a building material for something else whereas wheat will drop into here and the grain and the uh, 
flour that is milled. Speaking of, we have movement. New family is moving in. We got above 50 again. Good. So nothing is inside. We have a family. Yeah. Family in there. Do we yet have? 36 still. 36. We saw 300 and something. So 36 bundles of 10 each. I'm going to roll a guess out. How are you guys doing? We are broadcasting seed already, so we have already uh, done all the plowing. Great. We're in November. We... Through November. So by the before December hits, we have to have this done, and we're basically there. Though you're... Interesting. Okay. That's why that happened last time. We're already growing, even though our sowing is not done. Because what has been sowed has already begun to germinate and to grow. I see. So we still have to get to another, you know, 17% here. Which is going to happen quickly. Every time they, they throw something out over there, it recalculates itself. That's going to be in here in a few minutes. So we'll get back to sheep in a bit. We've got our tavern done. We're, once we get these guys out of here, we'll leave one family in here to get the threshing done. we we'll get the other ones back out to, to start uh, working. And do we finish? 94%. We're still throwing a few things out over here. So close. I want to do I want to wait here to do this because I know I'm gonna forget. I want to get you guys up and running again. Oh, you never stopped. That's right. Because so I didn't want to drop those out. So have we cleared out the last of these trees? Uh they were across the road, right? They were in here. Let's stop a minute. You guys are going where? You are crafting, you are crafting. You're crafting. You're heading back to the farm to do the uh, uh, the threshing. Okay, I don't want the firewood cutters to go and take another tree down. But I think they have done their job. I think we've been cleared out. I'm not seeing anything else. So these guys are no longer a thing. Where am I? There. These guys go away. People, let's see where they are. They are transporting log piece. So you're on your way back. Okay. And otherwise, you are all at home. Let's see. I can't do it from this distance. You're running a market stall. You are... There we are. Going home. You're... Harvesting... Something. Another tree, maybe. Okay. So it's a good time to shut these guys down. We're going to wipe out our, our, uh, our stalls at the moment, though. But it needs to be done. Minus, minus. Okay. So we're going to have a bunch of abandoned or empty stalls. Now I noticed that one time when I moved them out of here and this went empty. It never said the word abandoned like this one is saying. This one actually says abandoned. But we saw the word abandoned over here once. And they did re, you know, start to reuse it. Unless that's one of them that I had moved over here. Now we've got an abandoned one. And this abandoned one, that was from, that was from here. Yeah, uh, from, from here. They were running that stall and they were running this stall on the end. And it now says abandoned. Okay, so let's see if those restock. That's what I'm curious about. So you guys are no longer employed. Let's do a little social engineering here. <clears throat> I want these all employed by folks that live around here. Though I want none of these employed by people who live here. Yeah, they're going to spend a lot of time working on their own wares. Where do you work? People, and you are warehouse workers. Let's grab you. I'm curious to see how this works. Let's see this in action. This is calling for two families. I'm going to manually pull one family out, but I need to, I guess, fire all these folks. Pull all of you out of here. Okay. One, two, and over here. None. Okay. So you are going to now work, people. Reassign the furthest one right there. I want you doing that. And then I want your neighbor. Where do you work? You are a granary worker. Okay. My, my thinking is, since this is still calling for another family? No. I thought this would be spinning, waiting for another family to join. But it's not dependent upon the building. You know, two families, doesn't matter who they are. 
it's still very specific to the family itself so I have to manually go back in and do this again okay um, you then will know to go into the granary and fix that as well you can now work granary worker reassign to over here you two families are going to be my new woodcutters now probably you you're on a sign. You can be in the slightly closer one since you're further away. Logging camp one. Let's get one more assigned into there. People unassigned. Perfect. You're going to be in here as well. Then I want one family assigned. That's both of you. Assigned to the saw pit. Um, warehouse worker. That's the other warehouse. Okay. So you are over here at the saw pit. And something else to do I want a let's verify we're full over here uh, trader over here so two of two two of two two of two that means the next one that we buy whatever it is is gonna land over here so let's put an ox into there we're at 97 so we are we are running out of funds at the moment. You're going to go in there, and a suggestion came in to go ahead and employ this. So people, general, they're right there. Employ this one so that someone is dedicated to just hauling logs, and that might get some of these logs brought in a lot quicker that are just laying out over here, though we haven't actually checked that this episode. Real quick. Um, you, and you, and you. There. Okay. Uh, see, that's what worries me. Did they haul them all in? Or did they all go away? Because I restarted the game. Alright, well, let's set you over here at the entrance of this, this area. And clean that out. The foresters are working right here for firewood. So between those two, we're going to empty out this little uh, pathway in here. Okay, so that gets... I can unemploy now. And now we'll just take from the, gener uh, the general pool two more families and granary there. One more family. Okay. They're going to restock or re-employ uh, that one booth. This booth went away. So we have another booth. This one? That's abandoned. You. <clears throat> the warehouse grabbed the old firewood stall. Okay, and I assume they're now selling firewood there. Okay, what happened to the stall over here? You are a firewood stall, and you are employed by the another warehouse worker. Oh, that's not good. So two warehouse workers, and they're all selling firewood and not, uh, not leather. Okay, so that means that you are just doing firewood as well. So we're going to need another family in there. We're going to need to destroy a firewood stall and see if they will then... Let's try that. You are no longer going to be firewood. So destroy you. That's going to get somebody angry, I'm sure. Goods are left on the ground, but it's just firewood. So we will survive that one. Uh, you're not popping. Okay. Let's do it this way. Oh, it got picked up. Okay. Uh, Ricardo not met. Okay, that's something else. Work area is empty. Generic storage is full. Um, oh, that was left over. <laughs> okay, something was not computing there. You are full of logs. Interesting. After all of that work, getting you guys employed. <laughs> okay, I'll pull one of you out. And put another one into here. Okay, so if I do that, who are you? People. And you're from this area too. Okay, I grabbed the same family. All right, so, and then I, logging camp. When this one arrives, you livestock, you're here. And you're on your way in. Then let's go ahead and get, actually it's not as important now, to employ that family. Although they would then, in a more dedicated manner, draw logs in to building sites and other things too. But I think I'd rather have them building. Yeah, constructing. Alrighty, well, 
that was interesting to watch, but it didn't quite land the way that I thought it would. Let's get some burgage plots over here. And I have no idea how long I've been going. Probably in that 50 minute range. Um, building houses, that's eh, easier to just hit H. And from where to where? Nice curve over here. I could see something being here. I don't know what. Let's start right at the Y. We're not gonna go very deep. Just wanna make these houses. So let's see what that does. Rotate you around. And we don't need the backyards. So pull out, drop into here, like so. That, and spin you around. I'm just going the wrong way each time, aren't I? All right, so if we hit a minus, that gives us a little room and not so packed in. I like that better. One more, we're going to start getting doubles. I don't know that I want doubles down here. Let's go with the five individual ones. Get you built. Get you in the queue, put it that way. And these will eventually be the families that run all of this and run all of this. And, and I could see putting in another group of them somewhere. Do we put them here? We could put some there. Yeah. So probably not on the corner, though. So if we were to... Why are you dropping into the road? Interesting. You really want to make that tight, don't you? Huh. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll just do it and see what happens. We're going to go only to there. We do have a tree we're going to lose. Only one, though. Though No, it looks like six. Oh, that's the cost. Okay. Oh, I may leave that tree in the, in the back yard. Oh, interesting. We do that. I bet you that now nah, it's in the way of the house, isn't it? It is. It'd be nice to have some trees in these backyards. Let's try for that. Let's go a little deeper into here. We won't necessarily use the... Uh, let's do that and minus. Okay. We may still lose that tree, but we're going to gain these, I think. Let's give that a try. Yeah, we lost that tree. But these are going to remain and grow. And these will be uh, in the backyards of these, these lots. These, I wish I had thought of that. I could still think of it, though. Let's do that. I kind of like that look. That look seems to work really well out here. All right, let's do that again. And from here, back far enough to get into that brush back there. And we went out to five. We were, I think, at a point right there. Let's try that and that. Rotate you around. And minus, minus, plus. That gives us six this time. Let's pull out to this point here. Like that. Alright, so flip you three times, minus once. That looks better. And we're going to have some greenery in the background. If we can't put it in ourselves, then let's make use of what's already there. Alright, so that is that area. And when we will get to working on that, I don't know. These will be a higher priority. Are you in? You are in. Fascinating. Okay. So I did not expect that to be that quick. Didn't think we had that many workers in here doing anything. Checking up on you guys once again. Three families. They have done all their job. Let's pull you all out of there. 30 grain in there. Some of it's already been hauled to here. We already have some flour. All right. Communal. You are built too. Wow. I'm off doing other things and not noticing when this is happening. One family into here. We've got... The ability to make flour we've got the ability to haven't hauled it but it will eventually work its way to here or to here one family is going to start grabbing that flour making bread stocking up the granary and that's going to start moving out to all of the food market stalls you have picked up and are now a firewood cutter okay so don't have to worry about when you move a market stall and it fails they will eventually do something else with it, though I would really like to see somebody selling linen or leather. So, clothing. We have one right there, the tanner. Over here, oh, I see it, I see it. You are clothing stall, abandoned. So we need to get you in there. The only way I can think of to do it is to put you in. And if you don't start selling firewood, or I could do that. 
Let's leave them out for a while. One of those two firewood stalls will go away, be abandoned. Back, can I find it already? You, firewood stall. You, firewood stall. You, firewood. Yeah, we'll give them a little time. See if they give up, and then we'll put another family in and see if they, by the roll of the dice, pick a different product from their, their uh, storage to, to feature. All right, so we have five families right now. We're not, probably not going to see. Well, we might see this. No, that's not what I wanted. I want you. We need planks. Okay, so the church is next time. Planks, we need to pause these guys. And, yeah, Joyner and Fletcher, you guys just calm down. We can't keep enough planks to keep you going, which means we're going to need several wood camps. We're going to need several saw pits. We're not, uh, we're not tooled up yet to handle that kind of an artisan load. So now we know. Pick one or the other, because one is going to eat your town dry. So we have two families in here. They are capable of grabbing an ox. Praying and waiting like nothing's happening, so they're not. We could assign an ox. That's probably wise. So at least one of them will hopefully be dragging boards over as fast. Problem is they drag it over, then they go home. Then somebody from home comes over and does the splitting, then they go home. And then somebody else walks over and... So I don't know if two families is an advantage. I actually don't. Let's drop you out. I, it, we, it might be more of an advantage to have two saw pits with one family in each. I think so. And this is where our log's going to be focused, so it makes sense to go ahead and do it right here. So you are gathering, you are saw pit, and same idea. Yeah, it makes sense. Straighten you up just a little bit, put you right in there, and do that. You are a higher priority than those houses. They're already dragging all the logs down to the houses, aren't they? Yeah, they're doing it. All right. Um... Six families now. Oh, we pulled one out of there. So one's going to go in there. We don't need anybody in there at the moment. The field is planted and slightly starting to grow. It's not going to, that's going to stop here. And once the snow hits, then it'll hopefully resume in the spring. Um, you're running. Berries are not a thing, though. We supposedly have been putting commodities pull out of. Yeah, right there. We, there we are. Still just one herb. So all this time, only one herb has come into the system that I know of. We don't have really a, a strong reporting system here. Whether or not they have been brought in and used and brought in and used, I don't know. So one family's been sitting in here for that purpose. And I guess I'll leave them through the winter so we can use the stall. They won't be selling berries. What are they actually doing? People harvesting, getting a basket. Can I go to that stall? By clicking here I can so food stall and looks like it's this one you are clothing because you are the tanner you're the cobbler oh the cobbler can also do it okay good in that case I don't need the these guys to do it so they can go back to running their firewood that'll be fine um, anyway food stall there is no food stall here here there we go so you are running this one so you're running meat and vegetables and what berries we have left, even though you're not actually bringing in berries. So I'll leave you out there and uh, and let you... We'll employ the stall by having you manned even during the winter. I'm sure the game's going to send us all kinds of messages saying, Hey dummy, you're out of berries, but that's fine. Now, we need to get sheep in next time. We need to bring them in through the livestock trader and... Over toward the farm complex makes sense to do that. Trading is here. Livestock trader. We could leave him out on the main road. He's just a little building. And he looks like he belongs to the farm. He does. So if it was sitting over here, it would just feel like part of the farm complex. And I think it would look good. Let's do that. Kick you off at an angle like so. And grab a road and... Unfortunately, I can't get into here with it, but I can do that, pop into there, drop into there. Yeah, it would have been nice if the road could have wandered, meandered through. Huh, okay. Well, that'll do there. We, we are getting into part of our, uh, our field here, though. Let me take one more peek at that. Emmer, 
Yeah, we are. What if he went across the way? Oh, we're into trees there. Well, that's just going to be good enough. It'll be good enough. All right. So you're there. And past your... I think I was starting to say something and then something bum 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 and interrupted me. But let's... We'll get... We can hold five sheep right here. And five, I think they're 30 apiece or 20 for lambs. So that's that's 150 right off the bat. We need to get back into our trading here soon. I don't want that. Pasture, that's what I want. So pasture, this will hold five. Now, I would normally make a pasture just big enough to hold 10 or 20 and say that's good enough. But we have sheep breeding, so they can continue to breed and breed and breed. And we can even sell them. So this, in a sense, could become an industry. I wish I could wrap around that sheep farm but I can't I need another point to go over there and, and pull that off um, I could do something more like this though if I were to do that can it it can kind of wrap Ooh, look at that now looks like I'm stuck at this point here but yeah I kind of like that so there but I'm still lacking a point <laughs> okay so I guess best I can do is there all right, so in that case, we'll just stop at this point and move down in. And that is space for 46, 45. Uh, if we were to make an even 50, well, there's five in there, so that does make an even 50. Now, changing the shape, we've got the freedom to do something like that. I kind of like that. Let's do that. Okay, you're in there. We're getting ready for sheep. Not there yet. Thumbs down. That has to do with firewood, I'm guessing. That's going to zoom us into something. Yeah, I'm sure somebody here is complaining about stuff. Tavern supply is going to happen one of these days. Probably when we get to trading. So we're, we're kind of stuck right now waiting to get into here so I can start bringing in the the uh, the barley and the and the flax and stuff. So I don't want to do this till the update hits. So I guess next time we do want to try our best to get into uh, the next province over there and get started. Although we're going to be doing it in the winter, that's rough. That is, your 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 food supplies will immediately start to uh, to rot on the ground as the snow is landing on it. Because it'll start just like this one. we got to get ourselves a granary going. Yeah, that really kind of needed to be done in, say, August at the latest. Hmm, timing is an issue. Okay, well, I guess we'll just find other things to work on. Maybe next time we will get to work on the mining industry in fact let's maybe set that right now before we shut the episode down as a as a reminder industry is there and no a mining camp is what we're looking for mining camp is in okay so a bloomery is what we're in for then let's get a family going in here one family one family is a reminder of what we're doing and grab the industry bloomery there right there at the end all right, you will grab iron ore and turn it into iron slabs, and you'll take fuel doing that. Fuel, that's what we needed to do. Yeah, we've got not a lot of fuel going into this uh, into this winter. So you need to be down here somewhere. You are the bloomery. You don't have to be there. Really, a storehouse needs to be there. So let's make use of this area. Boy, that's quite a steep slope. Hmm... That is, I didn't really notice that when I put that in. Let's pull him out, put those those uh, buildings, those those industry buildings up in here next time. So industry will be up in here, closer to housing, and the miners and a storehouse down in here and maybe over here. So storehouse somewhere at this point. So we can throw that in real quick. Storehouse is right there, and that makes sense. So off into something like there at the crossroads. Sure, you're right there. And we just finished a saw pit and a firewood stall. Finished? Construction on a firewood stall. Oh, stall. Okay. So saw pit. That over here gets you employed. And we need more firewood. So woodcutters camp. So we can get ahead of this curve as we're going into winter. Only five months left. But I need to call this done somewhere or I'm just going to keep rambling on. So finishing here. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.